Manchester United have made a £70 million bid for Leicester City's Harry Maguire. Has been confirmed by the BBC and Sky Sports. But is he the right sort of centre-back for Manchester United this summer? Is he the signing that Solskjaer needs to do to sort this defence? We've got wan in at right-back, that's sorted. But centre-back is still a big issue for United. Now, early this summer, you know I covered it all in a full-story look at the Maguire to United rumours. But now the story really is gathering pace. So I'm going to discuss it all in today's video and give my own opinion on whether I feel Maguire would be the right signing by Solskjaer. Now, before we get into it, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. And if you're a regular, drop a like on the video. Let's get into this one. So where has the story come from this time? It's Sky Sports and the BBC, both of them confirming that United have put in a £70 million bid for Maguire. Says that talks have been going on for some time between United and Leicester, but that Leicester are holding out for a fee more than the £75 million that Southampton got from Liverpool for Virgil van Dijk. And, you know, when Sky Sports reported it, you say, OK, this is, did it actually happen? Simon Stone from the BBC followed it up pretty soon after. So it's clear that the bid has gone in. And United really are kicking it into fifth gear this week. You know, we've got wan -Bissaka. As I said in yesterday's video, looking at deals for maybe Bruno Fernandes and Sean Longstaff to strengthen our midfield. And now it's Harry Maguire to strengthen our defence. Now, 70 million is a lot of money, but whether or not you feel that's the right price for Maguire, I personally don't think you can argue that Maguire would be a good signing for United because he'd be a massive upgrade on the options that we currently have inside the squad. Phil Jones, Chris Smalling, better than both of them. Marcus Rojo, better than him. Better than Victor Lindelof as well. He'd come in and be the best centre-back at the club and would likely partner Victor Lindelof. Not sure what that would mean for Axel Tuanzebe, but that's something, a different discussion altogether. In the sense that Maguire would improve United's defence immeasurably, immediately, because he's Premier League proven, not a risky signing that maybe Koulibaly or Skriniar would be. In that sense, he'd be a good signing. But would he be an elite level signing? Would he become United's Van Dijk type signing? which is what you would expect for Van Dyke type money when you're signing a centre-back. I question whether Maguire is that good. I don't think he's that good. And I don't think he ever will be that good. I think Van Dyke is on a different level in terms of being a world-class centre-back. I think Maguire is a very good top-level centre-back, but I think he's just, just a level below where Van Dyke is, and I'm not sure he could ever be as good as him. So in that sense, it wouldn't be a good signing because you'd be overpaying for Maguire, but I think 70 million is a lot of money. But I feel it's relative to the market at the moment. Man United have just paid 50 million for Wan Bissaka, a 21 year old with one Premier League season's worth of experience under his belt, and that costs 50 million. So in that sense, 70 million for an established 26 year old top draw centre back with World Cup experience, World Cup semi-final experience, Lots of Premier League experience as well and proven 70 million sounds pretty fair. But Leicester have rejected it. And Leicester want more towards 75 or 80 million, which is staggering. But that's what United are going to have to pay if we want Maguire. And it seems like Solskjaer wants Maguire. Now, he's not the sexy type signing that I think we all wanted. He's not Delict. He's not Koulibaly. He's not Skriniar. But nobody can really, I don't think, argue that Maguire wouldn't improve our team because he would. He'd come in straight away and have an immediate impact on our defence. And maybe he can have some of the characteristics that Van Dijk has. You know, he could come in, I say could, he would come in and be our leader straight away because we don't really have a leader in defence. And Harry Maguire would solve that problem immediately. Yes, yeah, some may argue that he doesn't have enough pace to be a top draw centre-back at United, but... Given how shit our centre-backs are, I don't think any United fan could rightfully turn their nose up at Maguire. Yes, it's a lot of money, but it, again, it's not our money. It's not my money. As long as the club spends it on the right sort of signings, then I'm all for it. Now, I always felt that United would go after Toby Alderweireld. I thought 25 million. I felt we were going to spend big elsewhere and sort of sure up the defence by getting Alderweireld in. It doesn't seem like anybody's going after him, despite the fact that he's now available for 25 million. That's a bit weird. 
but maybe he doesn't want to leave Spurs after what happened there last year. I suppose who could blame him? They're actually buying and Don Bele. Spurs look to be doing good business in this summer transfer window rather than none in the previous one. So maybe he's not going anywhere. And maybe Solskjaer knows that. And maybe that's why Solskjaer is going after Maguire. Now, Leicester don't need to sell. Got a great squad there, a good set of talented players and a manager there in Brendan Rodgers who was getting a lot out of them last season. So it's a good club to be at. And Maguire won't be pushing for a transfer either. He's settled there at Leicester. So United are going to have to pay big. And 80 million is a sensation amount, way too much for Maguire. And I do find it strange that 12 months on from not going after Maguire under Mourinho, that we would all of a sudden pay more for the same player under Solskjaer. I think that's a bit hypocritical of the club, but I, show, I guess it shows how little faith United had in Mourinho at that point. And all the more reason why he should have just been sacked last summer rather than delaying it. But let's not get into that. Let's... Maguire, look, it's a confusing one. It really is because it's a lot of money for Maguire. But given how bad United's defence is, our centre-back options, you take him in a heartbeat, surely. I, I, I wouldn't understand. I, I, no, maybe you do. Let me know in the comments why exactly you wouldn't want United to sign Maguire. Now, I'll be honest, there is a little bit of a hint of me just saying I want Maguire simply because he would be an upgrade on what we've got. Because any centre-back would pretty much improve United. But I do think he would be a good signing. Now, I do question whether City are genuinely interested in Maguire or whether or not they're simply just pretending interest just to bump up the price for United. But if City are interested, then Maguire does have a choice to make. Does he join United where he would be the leader, that centre-back at the heart of the team? Or does he join Pep Guardiola and City and Champions League football? It would be a big move. It's the biggest move he'll make in his career. Whether he chooses United or City, if we're both in for him, is a different question altogether. But clearly, United are in for Maguire. And the club is really making big moves to get that squad as complete as possible before we do fly out to Perth next week to begin our pre-season tour. We've got wan Saka, we've got James, and United want Maguire. As I said, I always felt that United would go after Alderweireld to sort of cut price, defender, spend big elsewhere, but it seems United have chosen Maguire. Solskjaer has chosen Maguire as his centre-back signing that he wants this summer. But do you want him? Do you think that Maguire could be that defensive leader, that defensive Van Dijk type leader that United need? Or is he not good enough? Should we be spending a bit more looking at someone like Koulibaly from Napoli or Skriniar from Inter Milan? I don't know. We didn't get De Ligt. Well, he hasn't joined Juventus yet, but he's clearly going. But let me know what you think about Maguire. I think this one's going to split fans down the middle, really. But from my perspective... He'd be a huge upgrade on what we've already got. And I don't think United fans can really be turning their nose up at a player who would dramatically improve our team. That's my opinion. You might disagree. So let me know in the comments below. As always, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe and stick around. Until next time, though, take it easy.